Hello there and welcome. My name is Jimmy Wiegmann and in today's video we're going to take a look at how you can rename epics finally. This functionality has been two years in the making and just to give us some extra goodies Atlassian has decided not only to give us the ability to rename epics but they are also adding the possibility to have issue hierarchies even for free and standard versions of GR. So let's jump into the article in Atlassian Community and then I will show you how to rename this in your own project. So here we are now in uh, Atlassian Community and this is now the article that we have for this change that rolled out now just a couple of days ago. So what are they giving us now then? Well, they are first and foremost, they are giving us the ability then to rename epics. So you can see how you do that here. And this is now in the and the issue hierarchy section. So you can see that on this side here. And this one is now available for all plans. So in the past, this was only available for premium and enterprise, but now it's also available for standard and free versions also of Jira. Uh, so this one, uh, this article now go through uh, how you actually do this. And one of the things they are pointing out there, one of the reasons why it took so long is that they need to basically rebuild how epics work. And so, as you probably have noticed by now, a couple of months ago, we actually got a new parent field that is now replacing the uh, the old uh, parent link that we had for uh, plants or advanced roadmaps, as it was named. And it also replaces now the epic field. Uh, so now you have one field for both called parent, and it will allow us now then to basically map any issue type to any parent that we want. And once they had that one in place, now we can finally, finally uh, rename our epics to uh, features, for example, if we want to have that. So I will link this article in the, in the text below, uh, so you can read it for yourself. But now let's see how do we actually take use of this one. So let's jump over into my Jira instance, and I will make this change uh, so you can see how it works. So here we are now in my Jira, my demo Jira, and so I'm going to show you now how to rename this one for your projects or for your instance. So the first thing that we do then is that we move over to uh, issues, and then you will see issue type hierarchy, and this one is available now then, like I said, for all plans, not just for those of you who have premium and those of you that have uh, enterprise. And maybe we should first go to, let's go into our, uh, our our project here so we can see what this one actually looks like. So I'm just going to go into our backlog and I'm going to expand on the epic. So now we can see everything here done is named epic. You have it epic and if you want to attach it to an epic here then you will have this one here as well. So let's do this, and now you'll see it says epic here, it says epic there, it says epic there, it's epic everywhere. So let's change that. So we go into issues, we go to issue type hierarchy, and then you will see here, now we have the mapping of story, uh, and we have subtask, and we have epic, and this is where you can add a new level. So if I want, I can now create a new level above epic, and I can select which of the issues I would like to have related to that level. But today, all we want to do is to change Epic to become a feature. So the only thing we need to do is go in here, and on the level name, we will change this to Feature. We can still have the issue type Epic, does not matter at all, um, because this is the issue type name, and this is the functionality name, the level name. And if I click change, Save Changes here now, you will see now that it will apply changes. And this will now override everything that you have in your instance. So if we go back now to our product here, and we go back to our backlog, you will see now it says feature here, it says feature here, and if we collapse this one, you will see that it still says epic here. Don't panic, it just take a little while for this one to actually uh, work. Uh, so the only thing that we, we can do is we can just refresh this page. For me, it took about five minutes before this uh, new label showed up here in this view, in the backlog view. But once you have it, you will see that it will now say add feature instead of add epic. And then everything will be pretty much the same as you expected from when you had it before. So instead of epic, you will now have features in all places. Now, just when you have 
added the new feature name. So when you have changed the name from Epic to Feature or any other name that you want, it can be that it behaves a little bit weird uh, for a couple of minutes, that it doesn't really allow you to uh, drag and drop and stuff like that. But that's just temporary while this is going through your database. Uh, so once it has been cleared, it should not be any problems to just drag and drop them as you're used to, and it will just give you the name that uh, it should now. And now then it will be named Feature everywhere in your Tia instance. So this is something that we have been waiting for now for almost two years, and I'm really happy that it has finally, finally arrived. So I'm going to change this right away in my instances, uh, after I checked it with our customers or our users, of course. Uh, so that's just me. Uh, are you going to change your epics? Uh, please leave a comment below. But on that, the only thing that remains for me today in this video to say is then I hope that you will have an awesome day and a great week.